Hey guys, Corey here, and today we're going to learn how to get that 235 to 1 aspect ratio in Adobe Premiere. It's actually pretty simple, so let's get to it. If we were to look at this video here, you can see that there are black bars at the top and the bottom. Now, we don't want this. The reason is because this is a 16 by 9 frame attempting to be anamorphic. Here's the original footage. The first thing we're going to do is apply this PNG image over the video. This essentially creates a mat to help guide us with our framing. You can download this pre-made PNG file from the description below. Next, extend the image over the top of your footage. Now, you may need to fix the framing of your shots. To do this, simply adjust the position height by double clicking, clicking effect controls, and changing the position height. Or apply the transform effect and adjust the position here for more control. Before we export, we need to go through some settings. At the top, you'll see a source tab. Click this button here. This allows you to adjust the cropping of your video. For full HD videos, adjust the top by 132 pixels, as well as the bottom. You can also simply adjust the parameters by dragging here. Now in the video tab, we need to adjust the height. First, uncheck this box as well as this button here. Now we're going to change the height parameters from 1080 to 816. So why is it 816? When we add 132 pixels from the top to 132 pixels from the bottom, that gives us a total of 264 pixels that we're subtracting. We simply subtract 264 from 1080 to get it 816. So the video frame is 1920 by 816. Now you're ready to export your video. And there it is, a perfect 235 to 1 crop with no black bars, just the way we like it. So as you can see, this is an easy way to give your films that cinematic anamorphic look. If you guys find this video helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I release videos every Thursday. You can follow me on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.